Zoe then clobbered the shrimp and said, You're it! But the shrimp fell into the game, laughing hysterically. During the week, Zoe shoved the happy kid. During class, she shot spitballs at him. And at lunch, she pretended to accidentally spill milk on him. Zoe loved every minute of being mean. Strange things began to happen to Zoe. Amber and Amanda looked the other way when Zoe asked to sit with them. David did not play tag with her at recess. Zoe's feelings were hurt. After school, Zoe yelled, Hey, shrimp! Why don't you go away? Zoe yelled again, Why don't you answer me? I hear you. The shrimp responded without batting an eye. I choose not to talk to a bully. I am no bully! Zoe screamed. You are mean, David said. Amber and Amanda agreed with David. What was that about? Zoe's mother asked as Zoe got into the car. Zoe shrugged her shoulders, but felt like something sharp had pierced her heart. Zoe began to sob. <laughs> I want my friends to like me. Her mother listened patiently. Zoe's mom said, You need to apologize. The next day at school, Zoe apologized to Amanda, Amber, and David. Then she came to the shrimp. I was just, um, well, I wanted to... What's your name? My name is Jeffrey. He replied. I was wondering, Jeffrey, if you could please forgive me for being mean. Zoe asked. Sure, he said. Zoe learned if she felt bad... She didn't need to make other people feel bad. She also learned not to judge people by their looks. She had been mean to the shrimp, um, Jeffrey, and he still liked her. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. In second grade, she won't behave. Meanest can be.